Thanks so much for stopping by. Today I'm using a journal that I got from my local dollar store and I'm also going to be using some paper from Heidi Swap, the American Craft Collection. I wanted to use a black and white stripe with some pink on it so I pulled out this large black and white stripe and I'm just going to measure my album. I believe this measured six by four and seven eighths. So I'm going to cut down a piece for both the front and back. And then in the end, I'll also cut it, cut down a couple pieces for the inside of the front and back covers as well. I'm going to layer several layers on the front cover and I'm just going to cut them down by a quarter inch each size. I pulled out a piece of Nina white cardstock because I wanted to add a little pop of white in between the two pink layers. So I'm just using my ATG and I'm going to layer those all on the front of my album. I love the black polka dot on the back as well. So to the bottom of that um, white layer I'm going to add a piece of chipboard to give it a little bit of dimension but in case you were able to see it from the side I went ahead and added some black sharpie marker to it just to finish it off if if you were able to see it from the side so here's just a couple pieces of scrap paper that I have I didn't even measure them they just happen to work perfect so I'm going to add those to the front of my album I did love the polka dots like I said so I wanted to add that to the front so I'm just going to adhere down my chipboard piece I did distress the edges of that polka dot piece and I'll add that to the Nina Solar White. I'm going to add my ATG and add that down. I'm using lots of gorgeous products from Wild Orchid Crafts. This is a Guy Pure Lace in white and I'll make sure to link everything that I used on my blog as well as in the description box along with links to Wild Orchid Crafts. I pulled out some hemp twine that I had in my stash for a really long time and it's a, it's pretty thick. I love the texture that it gives to my project. So I'm just tying a bow and I'll add another one at the end here as well. And now I'm just pulling out lots of flowers. I love every type of flower from Wild Orchid Crafts. To me, if there's two products that you can have in your stash, it's paper and Wild Orchid Crafts flowers. They also have lots of embellishments as well that I like to use, but their flowers are just my favorite. So I pulled out some white chrysanthemums. I pulled out this rose chrysanthemum and it was too, it's a dusty rose. It was too pink for what I wanted to um, go with here. So then I just pulled out a pale pink chrysanthemum. Those are some of my favorites. I say that about a lot of the flowers, but they all tend to be my favorites. So I pulled out the uh, some wild roses and open roses as well and I'm just layering them down the front adding some hot glue to hold them in place and now I'm trimming off that hemp cord and I knew it needed another flower it was too big of a gap there so I pulled out the large hip rosebuds You'll see in my projects I use a lot of hip rosebuds. Well, these are the large ones. They, they come in different colors as well. They have pink also. And that was a perfect combination in this. So now I'm just adding some white leaves throughout. And again, Wild Orchid Crafts has lots of different types of embellishments, and I think you'd be surprised on their prices. You should definitely go by and check out what they have. They are always adding new products. So what I'm adding there are some flat back flower embellishments. One of them has a diamond center, and the other two is just a white pearl center. And then I'm also adding this pearl loop spray. I love this pearl loop spray. You can pretty much add it to any project. So I'm just using some hot glue, tucking the two of those in. And then I'm also going to add a couple of the open roses in ivory, the, the tiny ones. I believe I'm using the 10 millimeter ones. Again, just tucking three of them. When you take your heat gun over your 
flowers. It'll get rid of any hot glue strings that may be hanging around. And now I'm going to add a couple of their self adhesive pearls in the white. Again, I'll link all the products that I use down in the description box. And I really appreciate you stopping by. I hope you've enjoyed today's project and stop by Waldorf Crafts. Thanks so much for watching.